Welcome to bar. So grab your medium uh, weight resistant ball, not a resistant band, and um, this Pilates ball. And also, we might use this long band today for some core work. So just leave it nearby just in case. Let's start warming up for it. Let's bring your feet right under your hip and spread the toes nice and wide. You want to grow tall into your spine. And then as you can have reach both arms, look up. And then as you exhale, you're going to hinge from the hips, fold up your leg, drop the head. Let the neck completely release the heels. Look side to side. Relax the shoulders, relax the space between your shoulder blades. And then from here, round the spine on one vertebra at a time, roll your shoulders back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips and fold up in your legs. Shaking your head side to side. And then around this final one of the body, time shoulders back. Let's grab that uh, Pilates ball. Hold the ball right in front of your chest. Good. Squeeze the ball and activate the core muscles. Keep the ball in front of your chest and then begin to lift your knees to your chest. Fantastic. Lift it up. Nice. Squeezing on that ball and at that same action that will be squeezing the ball, that's what you want to think about your pelvic floor. You want to contract those muscles on your pelvic floor. Squeeze and squeeze. Let's add some movement with that ball. We just you press the ball away from you. Press and press. Gorgeous. Looking good. Good reach. Squeezing on that ball. Stay tall. You want to stay tall into your spine. Good. Press it. Press. Let's extend that ball towards the ceiling. Yes, but towards the sky if you're outside. Reach and reach and reach. We're just warming up here. Good. Nice. You got it. Let's keep lifting those knees. Just hold the ball up. Yes. Lift and lift. Exhaling the air out of your belly. Keep those arms up there. Good. Lift and lift. Nice. From here, we're just going to pass the ball behind the knee. Ooh. Yes. Pass. Pass. Try to stay tall into your spine using the core. Pass and pass. Gorgeous. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Hold the ball in front of you. We're going to take a step lunge. So step one leg wider than in your hips, shifting your weight back towards that front heel. Okay, so you want to move to your chest forward, embrace your core. Squeeze the ball in here. Add little pulses. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Yes. So you want to think about the pulsing, not going to the side, but going to the back. Yes. Pulse, pulse. Lifting the weight back towards that front heel. Squeeze the ball a little bit more. Good. Hold in here and then switch sides. Find the movement first, shifting your weight through your left heel. And now from here, begin to pulse again. Pulse. Pulsing that hip back. Good. Maybe lifting your toes a little bit. And just keep pulsing back. Nice. You got this. Five, four, three, two. Now take it side to side. Take it to the right. Take it to the left. Wonderful. Yes. Keep shifting the weight through the heels, not through the knees. Okay? The weight, it's all back to the heels and through the glutes and through the quads. Wonderful. Dynamic stretches. Strengthening the glutes. And stretching those inner thighs. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's come into a high plank with the wall between our knees. Walking our hands out to a high plank. And right under your shoulders. Exhale the air out of your belly. Squeeze the ball. Press the floor away. Stay active through your shoulders. Stay active through your core the ball a little bit more. Press the floor away. Now let's rock forward and then back. Forward and back. Good. Keep stretching your fingers out. Keep pressing the floor away. You got this. Go forward and back. Forward and back. Nice. Keep breathing the air out of your belly. Keeping your pelvic floor nice and activated. Wonderful. You just go forward and back. Fantastic. Good. Now let's just hold in here. Let's lower your forearms down on the floor. So you want to keep your elbows under your shoulders. Exhale the air out of your belly. Bracing your core. Squeeze the ball a little bit. Option here, you can lower your knees on the ground, okay? Hold for four, 
three, two, and one. Let's take a child's pose. Sending your hip all the way back, relaxing your heart on the floor. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Let's come to a side plank. So we're gonna place the right forearm on the ground, okay? And then let's keep the, start with the ball right under your left hand. We're gonna work that right oblique. Press into your right forearm, lifting your bottom arm pitch first, and then you lift the hip. You always have the option to keep that bottom knee on the ground, okay? Lifting your hips a little higher, press down to the ball. Good, just hold and lift a little higher. Keep exhaling the air out of your belly. Stay active through your right arm. Good. Now grab the ball and extend the ball towards the sky or towards the ceiling. Well, now let's go for some dip hips. So dip the hip and left. Dip and left. Dip and left. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower. Or just, just give me five. You lift, you squeeze. Fantastic. Three. One. Now let's switch sides. We're gonna place your left forearm on the ground. Take your time to set up. Press down into the ball on your right hand. Lift your bottom arm pitch. Lift the hip and hold. Good. Keep lifting. Squeeze the back muscles. So stay nice and lifted through your spine. Now grab the ball and extend the ball towards the ceiling. Good. Lift a little higher. And now begin dip, dip. So dip, lift. Dip, exhale, lift. Or just we're gonna go for 10, okay? This is four. Exhale, lift to five. Just give me five more. Hang in there. One, four, just two. Wonderful. Three, just give me two more. Last one. And I'll lay on your back. With the ball on your hands. I'm gonna keep your heels on the ground. Place the ball in between your knees. Hands behind your head. Let's exhale the air out of your belly first. Squeeze the ball. Lifting your head off the ground slightly. Keep the air out of your belly. Squeeze the ball a little tighter. Now bringing your arms by your side. Reach through your fingertips and now begin to pulse those arms. Pulse, 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 pulse. Wonderful. Keep squeezing on that ball. Keep exhaling the air out of your belly. Good. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Keep on going. You got this. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Nice. Perfect. Squeeze the ball a little bit more. Let's finish in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your head down. Extend the ball to the legs towards the ceiling. Grab the ball with your hands. Stand the ball towards the sky. Good, exhale the air out of your belly. Crunch up, grab the ball with your ankles. And then inhale, we're just gonna lower halfway. And then exhale, crunch and grab. Exhale. And then inhale, option here. You can keep your knees bent and then your head down, okay? This is the option. But the idea is to keep your pelvic floor in neutral. Make sure you're not lifting your hips off the ground. You wanna keep your sacrum on the ground. Lift, and then lower just a little bit more. Exhale to your rise. Inhale, lower. Last four. Last three. Two. And one. Grab the ball, lower your head for a second. Lower your feet down, waving your legs side to side, relaxing your hips a little bit. And now let's, last one here. Exhale the air out. Crunch up a little bit, lifting your feet off the ground, okay? Feel your pelvic floor 100% contract, and then begin to extend the leg forward and pass the ball behind your thigh. Woo, gorgeous. Reach and reach. Now, you can do this move, exactly the same movement, with your head down on the ground. It's totally your call. But if you're having your head down, you want to maintain your pelvic floor neutral. We don't want to tilt. Keep on going. Good. Stay tall through your spine. Keep exhaling the air out of your belly. You pass. You pass. You pass. You got this. Good. Finish strong. We're going to do some good work next. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Take a body stretch. Woo. 
Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Lift the ball to the side. Pull both knees to your chest. Stretch the back a little bit. Hug it in nice and tight. And then let's get to the face of the dog. Hands under your shoulders. Extending your hips up, 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 up. Drop the head. Good. Pedal those heels a little bit. And then walking your hands back, thirsting your toes. Drop the head. And then round the spine one over the body time, shoulders back. Gorgeous. All right, let's get band. Do some booty work. Stepping your feet inside of the band. And you're gonna come to the bar. Okay. So we're gonna place in our four arms at the bar. Like you wanna stack them on top of each other, okay? Exhale the air out of your belly. Let's work in your left leg first. So you're gonna extend in your left leg behind you. Boxing your foot. Bring your hips and engage in your lower belly. Let's get everybody to start here to get up an H, down an H. Up an H, down an H. Every time you lift the leg, you wanna exhale. Good, and make sure you're not uh, tilting your pelvic floor, okay? Middle lift, little lower. Always check it in with your pelvic floor. Make sure it's in a neutral position. Don't try to lift the leg super high, otherwise your pelvic floor will tilt. And we wanna keep it in a neutral position, okay? Little lift, little lower. Now let's bring a close attention to your left inner thigh. So you wanna internally rotate that left inner thigh. Square that left hip a little bit more so your thigh is parallel to the floor and your pelvic floor is more neutral. Good, you got this. Little lift, little lower. Little lift, little lower. Gorgeous. So one more. Can we hold the top? Let's point in your toes. And now begin to circle. Yes, you go up and around. Squeezing the top of your glute. Good. Take it that up and around. Long extension through the leg. Circle. Nice. Let's do one more. And now reverse the direction of the circle. I love circles because you hit all different parts of your glute. Nice. You got this. Keep circling. And now let's hold that circle and take it up an inch and down an inch. Up an inch and down an inch. Lengthening through the leg again. Gorgeous. We are almost done here. Little up, little down. Good. One more. Can we hold the top? Bending your leg to 90 degree angle. And I'll just need to pulse it up. Pulse. 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 One push it through. All right. 10 seconds more, okay? Just have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Take a stretch here. Stepping your, your booty back, standing your arms. Good. And now let's lay on your back. We're gonna keep in your left shift foot down, ending your right leg up. If you have that ball nearby, keep the ball under your left shift hand, okay? Let me get my timer again. Exhale the air out of your belly. <laughs> Lifting your hip off the ground, just one inch. You're gonna place that ball right under your left shift hand, okay? Let's get it ready to start, up an inch. Up an inch, down an inch. So when you lift the hip, you wanna press down into that ball, yes. Option here with that right leg, you wanna cross that right ankle over your left leg, which is just as great. Okay, sometimes when the leg is up, you start to feel too much from that hip, and we don't want that, okay? If you start to feel the hip, you cross the leg. Keep pressing your hand on that ball. You got this, little lift, little lower, little lift, little lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. We're not gonna stay here long. Gorgeous, you've got this, lift and lower. Good, let's hold the top, just hold, isolate the muscle. Please, can you lift your toes? Just keep that left heel on the ground, and now just begin to press out to the band. So your thighs presses out, press out. Good, squeeze that, press your left hand into that ball a little bit more. Good. All right, finish it strong, guys. Give me 20 seconds more. Add a press to that ball. Just press the ball and press the band. Woo! Push it through. Squeeze the booty. Nice. Just have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Pull your knees to your chest. Hug it in for a little bit. And now let's 
Come to a tabletop position. On your right forearm and that ball, that, that left hand, it's on the ground. You're gonna work the gluteal medius on your left side. Exhale the air out of your belly. And then lift that left leg just halfway. From here, we're gonna rotate your thigh out and down. Out and down. Plus, make sure you're not leaning too much to your right side. Even though you are externally rotating that left leg, the pelvic floor is still in a neutral position. Okay. Exhale out. <clears throat> Inhale lower. Me. Eyes. Open and close. Open and close. You got this. Awesome. Woo, exhale. Open. Inhale lower. Looking good. Hang in there. You just take it out and lower. Out and lower. Give me four. Give me three. Good. Two. Hold it out. Just hold it. Isolate the muscle. Press into your forearm. Press into your left hand. <clears throat> you want to stay active through your shoulders. Good. Let's go back down. Lower and left. Lower and left. Good. This is in here. This is our last time doing this. Okay. Exhale. Inhale. Let's finish here. Eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Hey, let's take a child's pose. Sending your seat back. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Let's go for some push-ups. Hands a little wider than your shoulders. Walking your knees slightly behind the hips. Let's just start from your knees first. You're gonna inhale, lower your chest halfway. Exhale, you press up. Exhale. Not bracing your core as you press up. So you're going to elevate your chest. Bracing your core. Elbows go out. Reach the top of your head forward. Inhale to lower. Exhale, you press. Nice, nice. Feel free now to lift your knees off the ground. Go on your toes. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. Good. Need to come down to your knees again. Gorgeous. All right, finish it strong. 10 seconds more. How many can you give to me? Good. Exhale, press. Five, four, three, two, and one. Downward facing dog. Hands under your shoulders. Extending your hips up. Drop the head. Good. Walking your hands back to your toes. And then around the spine, one over the by the time, shoulders back. Let's go for your other side. So we're gonna work in your right leg now. So go back to the bar. We're gonna place in your four arms at the bar, okay? Neck in neutral, feet under your hips. Exhale the air out of your belly first. You wanna activate that pelvic floor first, okay? And then, exhale, extend that right leg behind you, flex your foot, square your right hip. Let's get ready to move. Begin. Up an inch, down an inch. Good. Little lift, little lower. Little lift, little lower. Good. Check in with your pelvic floor. Keep those back muscles activated. So you want to think about your shoulder blades and depress them, okay? Depressing your shoulder blades. That means you want to kind of make a triangle within your shoulder blades. Now, another point, let's bring the focus and the awareness into your right inner thigh. In turn, rotate that right inner thigh. Yes. Good. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Wonderful. One more, can you hold the top, hold it, point in your toes, and now we circle. You go up and you go around. Exhale, as you circle, inhale, lower. Exhale, circle. Using the breath, one breath, one movement. So now let's reverse the direction of the circle. Long extension to the leg. Good, check in, make sure your hips are in neutral. Make sure your pelvic floor is activated. And now hold that circle, we're just gonna hold and breathe. Good, and now shake that out. leg out and in a little bit. Out, little in, out, little in. Gorgeous. One more. We're going to hold it in. Now, benching your like 90 degree angle. And our little pulse is up. Good. Pulse. 
false. Sure, you're now locking that left to me. Slightly bent to that left to me. Pulsing up. Nice. Like if you're trying to poke the ceiling or the sky. Finish it strong, guys. Wait for that beat and then we go lay on your back. Ready? Eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's lay on your back. Now the ball is going to be under your right hand. Okay? Your right foot stay down. Exhale the air out of your belly first, bracing your core, extending your left leg up. Now squeeze the glute, lifting your hip off the ground, just one inch. And now let's get ready to move. Ready? Just up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch. Press down into your hand. Lift and lower. Ooh, little lift and little lower. Where is your mind right now? Your mind should be on that right. Remember the option? You can cross that left and go over your right leg. Okay? That's fine too. The mind has to be on that right glute. Go a little lift, little lower. Up, squeeze, down and squeeze. Up and squeeze, down and squeeze. Or just, whew. One more, hold the top and just isolate the muscle. Can you lift in your toes? Dig the heel nice and, nice and deep on that mat. Activate the hamstrings. Now hold in here, now press out the bend. Out, press out. Good out the bend. I get into those out boots a little bit. Good, 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 good. Finale is coming up. Less than 20 seconds. Press out. Press out. Hold up. Press out. Little pulses up. Finish here. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze the booty. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Pull your knees to your chest. Hug it in first. Stretch the back a little bit. Now let's come to a tabletop position. We're gonna go back to those hydrant again. So, so this time your left forearm goes down. So before you lift that right leg, let's exhale the air out of your belly. Bracing your core, right hand stays on the floor. Lift that right leg halfway and then begin to rotate. Open and close, open and close. So again, you don't wanna lean to your left side. The weight distributed to the center of your body. Open and close. Are you feeling your outer glute? Are you feeling your glute immediate? Exhale as you open. Inhale as you lower halfway. Fantastic. You got this. Open and close. Press into your left forearm. Press into your right hand. Fantastic. Just go open and close. Open and close. A bit more, get ready to hold in three, in two, one, take it out and hold. Isolate the muscle, keep holding, press into your right hand. Oh, let it burn a little. Press into your forearm, and I'll go back down and then press out. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Keep that pelvic floor in neutral. Final is here. Eight seconds more. Let's go, guys. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh, take a child's pose, sending your hip back. Ah, inhale through your nose. Exhale. Take a downward facing dog, expanding your hips all the way up. Stretching your, your cheeks out to the side. Stretching your fingertips forward. Rotate those shoulders back. And then walk back towards in your toes and around the spine one of ready by the time shoulders back ready for some thigh work take a quick stick off the water train to yourself thigh now okay incorporate some thigh and arms one thigh and then you're gonna go back to push-ups so place your one hand at the bar. Feet right under your hips. Exhale the air out of your belly, lifting your heels nice and high. Okay, you don't want to stay on your toes. You want to stay on the ball of your feet. Spreading your toes nice and wide. Placing that outside hand on your hip. And now two counts down and two counts up. Down for two, exhale, lift for two. Good. 
Yes. You go down as deep as you can, pressing into your, the ball of your feet as you go up, and stretch out that band as you go up. Inhale down for a cheek. Exhale, lift. Down for a cheek. Exhale. We're just pressing out through that band. Inhale for exhale, lift. Go, let's go one more. This big range. And then get ready to hold on the down. Hold. Squeeze the thigh. Connect with your thighs. Talk to them. Squeeze them. And I'll begin to circle the hips. <sighs> circle. Just the hips. Yes. Good. We're not tucking your tailbone under. We're not tucking your hips. We're just circling the hips. Getting all the muscles to work. And I'll reverse the direction of the circle. <sighs> Wonderful. Yes. Look, always looking straight ahead. Growing tall. Stretch that tape. Hold that circle. Just hold. Okay, sink a little bit deeper and I'll press out the bed. Open. Open. Good. Just keep working those outer thighs. Good. Can you lift your heels a little higher? Open. Open. Let those thighs burn. Good. But if you speed it up, let's go, guys. Open. 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 I get this feeling. Yes. Can you sink a little bit deeper? Finish strong. Your thighs at this point should be ready. Just open, open, open. Nice. Let's finish here. Eight seconds more. Don't stop now, okay? You press for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. Woo Let's take the band up. Grab the ball again. You want to place the ball right in between your knees, okay? Come to a squat position with your hands at the bar, right under your hips. Squat back, light on the hands, squeeze the ball, bracing your core, and I'll just begin to squeeze that ball. Squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, so you're just wrapping those inner thighs around the ball. Just placing your fingertips at the bar. Keep your shoulder blades depressed, and your shoulders back. Shift the weight back towards the heels a little bit more, yeah? Keep lifting your toes off the floor. Keep squeezing on that ball. Nice, just squeeze and squeeze. Good. Nice, squeeze it in. Maybe here you can bring your hands in a prayer position. It's just an option. Keep that focus on your core. Exhale the air out of your belly. Back the ball, squeeze and squeeze. Hold that sweet. Hold it. Now little pulses back. Pulse. Pulse. Stick with me. Keep pulsing. Sending pain back. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Three. Two. And one. Keep the ball placing your hand at the bar. Elevating your heels. Good. Outside hand on your hips. Exhale the air out of your belly. Big range. Inhale down. Exhale. We're going to go a little bit slower so you can really concentrate. Keep that chest lifted. Keep the top of your head reaching up when you go down and when you go up. Wonderful. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Squeeze the ball. Squeeze the ball. One more. Hold it down. Hold it. Hold it. Just little pulses, little lifts with the heels. Just in your heels lifting. Yeah? Bracing your core. The ball. Lift. And lift. You're going to feel your calf muscles working. Woo! You got this. You lift. You lift. Nice. Spreading your toes wide. Good. Squeeze the core. Lift. Lift. Here, let's go for one, two. Nice. Three, five. Six, seven, eight. Relax. Grab the ball. Shake the legs a little bit. Place the ball in here. Push ups. So you can stay now on your toes or on your knees. Exhale. Add the air out of your belly. And then inhale lower. Exhale. Press up. Inhale lower. Exhale. Press up. Wonderful. If you're owning your knees, when you lower, your thighs also lowers with you. Okay? Squeezing the back muscles. Spreading your fingers nice and wide. Gorgeous. Press. Exhale. Press. 
almost done. And then we're gonna go to a down dog. Good. All right, eight seconds more. Let's go, guys. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands on your shoulders. Extend on. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out. Walking your feet towards your hands. Inhale to a flat back. Stretch the heart forward. Exhale, fold. Round the spine on one vertebra at a time. Shoulders back. Let's grab your medium weight. Medium weight. Yeah. Coming to a wide second. We're going to turn your toes out. So you want to be with your feet a little wider than your hips. Bring the weight to right in front of your heart. As you inhale, we're going to go down. As you exhale, you're going to rise up. Start super basic here. Exhale, lift. Make sure when you are inhaling, you are sending that inhale down to your pelvic floor, relaxing your pelvic floor. And then as you go up, you go up contracting your pelvic floor. Inhale. Toes on the ground. Just pressing the heels down. Two more. We hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it. Pulse. 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 Can you opening your thighs a little bit wider? Can you lifting your toes a little bit more? Good. Depress those shoulder blades. Ease the weight towards short another to increase the intensity a little bit. Pulse and pulse. Good. All right, so on the next one, we're just going to hold and oscillate the muscle. Hold, breathe. <laughs> I know, this holding is killer. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slowly rise up. Slow. Turning our toes forward, extending our arms by your side. Roll the shoulders back. Roll tall. Chill counts up and chill counts down. Chill counts up, chill counts down. The weight to have the amount of intensity on your muscles. You don't want it to be super easy. A, few little, a little activation into your muscles, okay? Nice. Curl and then extend. Reach the top of your head towards the ceiling. Nice, you got this. One more. Hold it halfway, hold it, and now just singles, singles, singles. Good. Keep reaching the top of your head towards the ceiling. You got this. Centrate, be present. Nice. Just curl and curl and curl. Let's go for eight seconds. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring your arms by your side. Stepping your right leg back. Bend that front knee. Pitching your weight to your left to heel. And now hinging your chest forward and extending your arms forward. Lock the shoulders back in place and then exhale. Pull, inhale, extend. Pull, extend. Wonderful. Nice. Yes. Four, three, two, one. Hold it here, just lifting your chest up, bringing your arms by your side, and then just alternate front raises. Go ahead, make sure you are using the shoulders to lift. Good. Multiple articulations working. Go to stay low into that front leg. You got this. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Give me four. Give me three. Nice. Two. And one. Step that back leg forward and switch. Bend that front knee. Hinge forward, extending our arms forward. Lock the shoulders in place. Ready, begin. Exhale. Pull. Inhale, extend. Nice. Pull. Inhale, extend. Wonderful. Keep squeezing, using those back muscles to pull your elbows back. Five, four, three, two, one more. Take it back, lifting your chest. Bend that back knee, extending our arms to the side. 
front raises again, begin. Lift and lower. Exhale the air out of your belly. Well done, guys. Lift and lower. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step it forward. Bring your arms by your side. Grow tall, stretch the tape. Bracing your core, exhale. Slow down, exhale. Meet your deltoids now. Yeah, don't lift your arms too high. Good, exhale as you lift. And then inhale as you lower. Wonderful. Get in there. Inhale, lower. Good. Finish too strong, guys. Yes, getting stronger here. Good. Last than 10 seconds. How many can you give to me? Good. We have six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Drop the weights for a second. We're going to come down to a push-up. Triceps push-up. So, line up your hands with your shoulders. Knees slightly behind the hips. As you inhale, we're gonna hug those elbows in, bringing our elbows back, lower your chest halfway, and then exhale, you press up. Inhale, halfway, exhale, press. Inhale, halfway, and exhale, press. And just keep on going. Squeezing the triceps as you're extending your arms. Squeeze and extend. Make sure your elbows are going in. Just a little bit more, okay? And then we're gonna grab a little heavier weight to do just one more triceps exercise. Exhale to press. Go, let me watch you guys a little bit closer. Wonderful. Yes. Really nice work. That's what leave you. Keep on going, darling. All right, we're almost done. 10 seconds. How many can you give to me? Help you lower. Exhale, press. We just have five. Four, three. Two and one. Now grab one heavy weight. I'm gonna grab a 10 pound. I'm gonna have a seat on your heels. Or if you have any knee shoes, you can stay on your knees, okay? Or stay on your heels, or even you can sit on a chair. That's fine too. You're gonna grab the weight, extend towards the ceiling or towards the sky. Exhale the air out of your belly first. In the beginning, how bend, exhale, extend. Just there. Squeezing your triceps to extend your arms. Bracing for. Always checking with your pelvic floor. Make sure you're tilting, rotating your pelvic floor. You want to maintain a nice neutral position. Inhale as you bend in your forearms. Extend, you want to extend your whole arms. So guys, give me all the way up. I'm gonna go for a little bit of very basic butt kicks. Option number two, just kick the heels to your fingertips. 30 seconds. One, starting three, two, and one. Begin. Kick the heel, shake your fingertips. Yes, you're free to just stay here. It's good too. The idea is to keep your heart rate up a little bit. Increasing your heart rate up more. Good, keeping this, those arms behind you, Olivia. Keeping your arms nice and stable. This, just kick. Look straight ahead. Wonderful. Guys, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, we just have four, three, two, and one. Relax. High plank. Extending your legs back. Exhale the air out of your belly. You're gonna go for mountain climbers, and you can go slow, like this, or you can speed it up. Okay. This is it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Pull, pull. Pressing the floor away. Stay active. 
keep the exhale out of your core, of your belly. And then keeping your core nice and engaged to protect the back. Pull in, pull in, pull in. Good. And finale is coming up. Check my time. You guys keep on going. Good. In five seconds, we take a child's pose. In four, three, two, one, child's pose. Out through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Let's lay on your back. Let's use that long band just a little bit to finish off with some core. So you're gonna bring in your hands on the inside of the handle. Okay, extend the arms nice and high, but keep those shoulders down. You wanna keep a good resistance on that band. If you don't have the band at home, you can maybe hold a weight, a set of weight. And then from here, as you exhale, pushing your feet off the ground, keep that nice resistance on the band. Let the should just extend leg at a time. Reaching your toes. Keep exhaling the air out of your belly. Let's keep your head down, okay? Reach and reach. You're gonna feel more the lower portion of your core. Keep exhaling. Band, extend that band to keep a good resistance on the band. Just straight the leg more forward. <clears throat> Like if you're trying to tap the front wall with your toes. So it's not really a, a quick bicycle. It's a very slow bicycle. Reach and reach and reach. Good. Three, two. Now extend both legs up in the air. Make sure you have your sacrum on the ground. Let's exhale the air out of your belly again. Keep those arms straight. And now inhale, lower your leg halfway to back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Fantastic. Last four. Last three. Last two. One more, hold the top. Maybe here, lifting your head up and now begin to cross the leg. This is it, guys. Cross and cross. Extend, lift a tiny bit higher. Exhale the air out of your belly. Keep the band nice and straight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Lower back down. Take a nice full body stretch. then we're done. Okay. Your right knee into your chest. Was it really with you going out like that? Just bring your right knee in. Keeping your left leg nice and straight. Let's circle that right knee. Circle. Reverse direction. Circle. The mind, relax the shoulders. And now extend that same leg towards the ceiling and just flex the finger foot a few times. Point and flex, point and flex. And now let's lower the leg all the way down. And then we switch. Pull that left knee to your chest. You wanna give yourself a nice hug. Relax through the shoulders. Relax the jaw, the muscle in your face. And now we circle. Let me stretch few. First, so. We first use your muscles and then we give some punch. <laughs> and now hold that circle, extend that leg straight up towards the ceiling and then just point and flex, point and flex a few times. Keep the shoulders rolling down, three. Like all the way to the so baby, bringing your knees on the outside of your hips. You can reach for your your the top of your feet, but you can be keeping your hands behind your knees. Be a history keeping your sacrum on the ground, okay? So you can gently rock a little bit side to side. 
Let the shoulders relax, let your mind relax. And now lower your feet down on the ground. Let's take a bridge pose, so extending our hips up. Feel that nice stretch in the front of your body. And as you inhale, lower your hips all the way down. Pull your knees to your chest again. Let's hug your knees as tight as you can with all the strengthening you have. Keep exhaling the air out of your belly. And keep pulling the knees into your chest. Hold. And I'll roll to your side and take it down. Hands on your shoulders. Extending our hips up. Paddle those heels. Tightening our, your belly. Head soft. Back to the center. Walking our hands back towards your toes. Straight ahead. Let's interlace it. your back. Hands interlacing fingers. You can reach for opposite elbow. Okay, extending our arms up, up, up. Drop the head. Take a nice big inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And then lower your hands down on the floor. Round the spine one over the body time. Shoulders back, reach both arms, look up, inhale. Lower your hands down to your heart center. And we are officially done. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.